A Russian rocket blasted off successfully on Tuesday to carry a pair of Iranian satellites into orbit, a launch that reflected growing cooperation between Moscow and Tehran. The Soyuz rocket lifted off as scheduled from Vostokny launch pad in far eastern Russia and put its payload into a designated orbit nine minutes after the launch. It was carrying two Russian Ionosphere M Earth observation satellites and several dozen smaller satellites, including the two Iranian ones. Iran's two satellites, named Khauzar and Hadhad, were the first launched on behalf of the country's private sector. In 2022, a Russian rocket launched an Iranian Earth observation satellite called Kayam that was built in Russia on Tehran's order, and in February Russia put another Iranian satellite named PARS-1 into orbit. Tuesday's launch comes as Russia and Iran have expanded ties in various spheres. Ukraine and the West have accused Tehran of providing Moscow with hundreds of exploding drones for use on the battlefield in Ukraine and helped launch their production in Russia. The Iranian drone deliveries, which Moscow and Tehran have denied, have allowed for a constant barrage of long-range drone strikes at Ukraine's infrastructure. Moscow and Tehran are planning to further bolster their ties with a comprehensive strategic partnership that is set to be signed during Iranian President Masoud Pazeshkian's planned visit to Russia. The date for that visit hasn't been set yet, but the Kremlin said it could happen soon. Tuesday's successful launch of the Iranian satellites atop a Russian rocket follows a series of failed launches suffered by Iran's civilian space program in recent years. There have been five failed launches in a row for the Simorg program, a satellite-carrying rocket. A fire at the Imam Khomeini spaceport in February 2019 killed three researchers, authorities said at the time. A launch pad rocket explosion later that year drew the attention of then-President Donald Trump, who taunted Iran with a tweet showing what appeared to be a U.S. surveillance photo of the site. At the same time, a separate Iranian space program run by the country's paramilitary Revolutionary Guard has seen successful launches from a military base outside of Sharout, some 350 kilometers east of the capital, Tehran. However, satellite images analyzed by the Associated Press show Israel likely bombed the site during its October 26 retaliatory strike on Iran. The U.S. intelligence community's worldwide threat assessment this year said Iran's development of satellite launch vehicles would shorten the timeline for Iran to develop an intercontinental ballistic missile because it uses similar technology. Прошел контакт подъема. Двигатели центрального и боковых блоков вышли на режим главной ступени. 10 секунд. Параметры системы управления ракетоносителя в норме. 20 секунд. Двигатели первой и второй ступени работают нормально. Реконструкция ракеты носителя в норме. Сорок секунд. Стабилизация изделия устойчивая. Пятьдесят секунд. Давление в камерах сгорания двигателей ракеты носителя в норме. Шестьдесят секунд. Полет нормальный. Семьдесят секунд. Параметры системы управления ракетоносителя в норме. Восемьдесят секунд. Стабилизация изделия устойчивая. 90 секунд. Двигатели первой и второй ступени работают нормально. 100 секунд. Параметры конструкции ракеты-носителя в норме. 
Сто десять секунд. Тангаш. Рыскание вращения в норме. Russian Marines in Crimea pay their commanders to avoid being sent to fight in the Kursk region. The command is attempting to hide information about losses, according to information from the partisan movement Atesh. An agent from the 810th Marine Brigade reports that at the unit's permanent station in Sevastopol, personnel issues are arising due to most of the personnel being sent to the Kursk region. The message reads, According to partisans, almost daily, reports are received about new killed in action from the Kursk region and the brigade's command is trying to hide the facts of military deaths, although, as expected, without success. The soldiers in the unit are in low morale due to the constant deaths of their comrades and are trying in every possible way to remain in Crimea. As a result, some commanders are demanding bribes from subordinates to grant a delay and avoid urgent deployment to the combat zone. Atesh notes, those who managed to pay and stay at the base are pretending to work actively by setting up camouflage barriers and moving equipment around. The 810th Marine Brigade of Russia, based in the temporarily occupied Sevastopol, Crimea, is involved in the war in Ukraine in the Kursk region. In June, partisans obtained documents from the occupiers of the 126th and 810th Crimean Brigades. Notably, in November 2023, the Ukrainian Defense Forces struck the 810th Brigade, which they called retaliation for the 128th Brigade, which was targeted by the Russian forces at the beginning of that month. At the time, the 128th Brigade, stationed in a frontline village in the Zaporizhia region, had been assembled for an award ceremony for Ukraine's Day of Missile Forces and Artillery. Recently, Ukrainian paratroopers said they have captured two Russian Marines from a brigade that reportedly murdered Ukrainian captives earlier this month. Kyiv said the 155th Independent Marine Brigade of the Russian Pacific Fleet was seen in drone footage shooting dead Ukrainian captives following an attack on Ukrainian drone operators on October the 10th. A retaliatory attack in Kursk between the warriors of the 95th Brigade of the DSHV, the Ukrainian Air Defense Forces, and the Russian Marines resulted in the surrender of two Russian prisoners, according to a Facebook post made by the airborne assault troops of the armed forces of Ukraine. The Ukrainian armed forces wrote that Ukrainian troops mercilessly destroyed the occupier, but mercifully preserve his life if the enemy drops weapons and surrenders captive.